The Children's Touring Partnership was established in 2010 between independent producers Fiery Angel and the Chichester Festival Theatre. Since then, we have produced and toured two new productions among a committed network of large-scale theatres across England. Both productions have played successfully in the West End as well. The Children's Touring Partnership's first production was Goodnight Mr Tom, which toured for 14 weeks in 2010 and then transferred into the West End for a Christmas season, winning a Laurence Olivier Award for Best Entertainment. Wonderful cast and the direction was perfect. They're very moving. It made me cry and I know the story really well and it still makes me cry. I thought the way they did the dog was quite brilliant. The young actors especially are, are superb. It's good. It's great. It's really good. Really good. Our next play was Bristol Old Vic's co-production of Swallows and Amazons, which as with Goodnight Mr Tom, received unanimous critical acclaim from both critics and audiences alike. It also played a very successful Christmas season in the West End. wear pyjamas all day. The soldiers, they took all our clothes away. My dad's a soldier, but not the sort that takes people's clothes away. That one there, two there. This one. No, that one. <laughs> yeah. No. Following the enormous success of both the book and the film, our stage premiere of The Boy in the Striped Pyjamas is adapted by Angus Jackson and directed by Joe Murphy. Hi, this is John Boyne. I'm the author of the novel Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Uh, this is a book I wrote uh, about eight years ago now, uh, originally published as a work of young adult literature, uh, but which seemed to uh, expand beyond that. Uh, it begins really like a lot of children's literature with the idea of a child being taken away from a place of safety, which is his home. And in the case of Bruno at the center of this story, he's taken away from Berlin. He's brought with his parents and his sister to a place he doesn't understand, a very desolate area. And over the course of the novel and over the course of the play, he has to begin to understand what he's doing there. Hi, I'm Angus Jackson. I've adapted Boy in Striped Pajamas for the stage. I think what's fabulous about it is that um, the story plays through, but the, the protagonist, Bruno, the lead, has to work out what he's understood over his life. And it's theatrically, um, it's theatrical gold, really, to be able to make it a space, an imaginative space, where he's got to look at what's gone on, what he's understood, and whether he now understands, understands things in a new and different way. Uh, so I guess a question you might be asking yourselves is why come see the play when you've read the book and you've seen the film? Um, and I think the answer is pretty clear really. The play is an extraordinary way of bringing this book to life. It allows us to put Bruno right at the centre of this story to see everything from his point of view. You don't need to see anything that he doesn't see. And more importantly, you will meet Bruno in the flesh. There is going to be nothing, I think, that will surpass the experience of sitting in that theatre and watching Bruno and Schmuel stand either side of an actual fence and just get to know each other. So which aspect of the book are you most interested in seeing in the Sage production? What intrigues you to see when you go and see the boy in the striped pyjamas? Um, one particular quote to which is when Bruno has gone exploring and finds Schmuel and um, it says, the dot that became a speck, that became a blob, that became a figure, that became a boy. And I'd like to see how, in the production, how they managed to make Schmuel appear to Bruno. Well, I'm interested to see how they display the fact that it's during the Holocaust, because in the book they don't say it's directly during that period, they don't, and it's through Bruno, the way that he describes it to you. I'm interested in that. I would wonder, in the stage production, how they would stage um, the incident where Pavel is, well, we don't know what happens to Pavel when um, Lieutenant Kotler gets angry. And I'd just be wondering how that's captured on stage. I think uh, Bruno is at the heart of the story. 
there's a great merit in the fact that he's a nine-year-old character. So he doesn't understand totally what's going on. So he behaves as any other nine-year-old does, which means that sometimes he's quite funny and sometimes he's quite disrespectful. Uh, and often he does what he wants to do and not what anybody else wants him to do, which as an insight, as a way uh, through the play is, is both entertaining and, um, and allows the, the story to unfold uh, in, a, in a light, in a, in a humorous way.